bring people with us. And as a, you know, I like to reference the, the Committee on Climate Change says, it will not be possible to get close to meeting a net zero target without engaging people. They're absolutely key to our future. I'd like to draw on our experience, my experience particularly, which is working in Brixton. Uh, and we were often challenged and, and, and said, uh, uh, you know, uh, community energy generally happens in rural communities, you know, where wind farms and solar farms are installed. And it's not something that really invites or appeals um, inner city, urban, diverse communities. We were able to prove um, that theory wrong. And, uh, you know, we worked in communities where there is a lot of inequality as well as thriving, rich diversity in culture. And I think what is really key is about knitting together uh, our green ambitions with social and financial. We've been doing a lot of work um, in the in the local region around Cambridge, Cambridgeshire and Peterborough. We just just this last week um, released a, a big report on how the region could be uh, transitioning uh, towards net zero. And so many different regions of the country have their own very particular context. The, the Cambridgeshire region, we're sitting in, in Fenlands with a very large um, rural community who have their own infrastructure needs, their own, their own particular challenges. And so understanding those local contexts and the infrastructure that's required and ensuring that we um, uh, are making the right decisions and have the right skills and capacity to deliver those um, on, on those uh, investments at a local level is critically important. So it's about connecting everything together in a holistic way. And a huge part of the government infrastructure with a small g is local government uh, and local place and space and how that is brought into this in a way which is uh, it, both engaging and with clarity and funding as to how you can get things moving there would be incredibly important and would really help drive that second 50%, which is harder and it's about behaviours and around how people habits and, and, and how people live their lives really. So I'd re really like to see an integrated approach where communities are not just seen as the sideline uh, you know, uh, and they're actually integral to uh, the future and the climate crisis that we need to resolve. I think we need to lead by example. Um, at the UN, for example, we're doing these things. I am trying to reduce the speed and extent of climate change by getting countries to regulate greenhouse gas emissions from industry by actually running uh, the UK's new emission trading scheme, uh, which I think is an example for all. We're, we're helping communities become more resilient to the effects of changing climate by building new flood defenses and by contributing to local planning and place making and localizing these SDGs and localizing um, these green goals is so important and I think the trickiest bit and we're trying to walk the walk ourselves. Mm -hmm.